<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this full playthrough of Diddy Kong Racing. This is Ryan with the Game Conquerors with you today. And here we go. Let's kick it off. We're going to go with Pipsy today. And Pipsy is going to put Wizpig in his place. Oh, there he is. He's ready for us. So before we go to him, uh, I am going to go ahead and... Oh, that's kind of creepy looking, his face. Uh, we're going to knock out the, the battle tracks. So anybody who's like uh, really familiar with this game um, <laughs> may have been upset at me throughout this whole time because I just keep calling these... These areas, like, oh, this is the dinosaur world, this is the water world, and they all actually have names, and they, the announcer even says it when you come into the into the world. So right there, if you could hear him over me, he said Dino Domain. Um, so I apologize. Uh, it's kind of hard to notice stuff like that when you're recording and you're trying to talk and and play and all that at the same time. So sorry about that. But anyway, so okay, so two of these levels are like battles and the other two are kind of mini games so on this one you're supposed to collect eggs um, the eggs will spawn in that center thing there um, and then you have to go drop them off in your nest and when you drop it off uh, you see up there well no, no nobody has one okay so you see under Diddy how it's flashing that means he's dropped one off there but it hasn't hatched yet so it's not safe so somebody can still steal it so you have to let it sit there long enough to hatch Try to protect your eggs. Oh, shoot. Okay, so Bumper got one. You see how his went solid? Ah, Bumper. He's trying to run away with this. Um, I don't remember for sure what happens with that egg. Did he get it again? I used to be able to knock these out like really fast, but I don't even have one yet. The key really is just to keep stealing them as fast as they can drop them. So, but every time I go to steal somebody, somebody else just grabs it. Okay, I'm gonna follow Crunch. I got my first one hatched, so that's good. Bumpers just dropped off another one. Hopefully somebody grabs that before it hatches because I won't have time to get there. Oh, somebody's right behind me on the radar. It's Bumper. He didn't grab it though. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Diddy's house. Alright, I got two hatched. I'm getting close. Let's go, Pipsy. <laughs> I love that egg sprite. It's just like so static. And you're holding it. Oh shoot, I thought I saw somebody there, but it was the, just the pterodactyl wing. Got it. Excellent. Oh, I also realized that this guy's name is Taj, which is a <laughs> an extremely stereotypical Indian name, so we're going to stick with Boba Fett. I like Boba Fett better than Taj. You won first prize. Oh, thanks, buddy. The TT amulet. I forgot what this thing does. I think this um, is part of unlocking um, TT's challenges. So, like, to get TT to challenge you, you have to um, do a time trial and beat a certain time on each, on each uh, track, and then TT will challenge you. And if you beat him on all the tracks, then you unlock him. Um, and I think that TT amulet is part of the conditions you need to meet in order for him to challenge you. 
but I could be wrong on that, so. A lot of this stuff I'm just going off memory, I don't always remember exactly how it works. Alright, this is one of my favorite tracks on this game. So, you see we've, we've each got eight bananas there except for Crunch because I just hit him. So every time you get hit, you lose two, just as if you were in a race. And once you lose all your bananas, you're out. Now, you know it would be interesting to find out, I never thought about this beforehand, but I wonder if when you have more bananas, um, on this game type, if you actually drive faster like you do um, in a normal race, that'd be interesting to know if you could, if you actually move faster when you're more healthy. Now, one thing about uh, this game type is they lock it down to just the second power up, so you can't get bubbles or ten missiles or long shield. Ugh. So I guess that's just a balance issue, but like I said, we, me and my sisters, we used to play this. Oh, my missile didn't even shoot. I'm going to lose. When we used to play this, we would, um, we would always put the free-for-all code on, and that would let you uh, get the full power-up just from picking up one balloon. And so when you did that here, you would get ten missiles just by picking up one balloon. So it was, sometimes they're pretty quick, and the uh, Pretty bloody. Some serious bloodbaths when everybody's running around with 10 missiles. I'm gonna try to just camp it out up here until they kill each other because I've only got one shot left. I wonder if I can target them from here. Oh no. Okay, so there's Bumper. I'm gonna see if I can target him. Oh no, I fell. And that did nothing. Oh, did I get Diddy? I might have got Diddy. Oh, shoot! Dang it, I was looking at my radar, I didn't even notice that thing there. Okay, we'll retry. here really you want to try to um, just do it kind of surgically surgical strikes you want to kind of find where somebody is on the radar get the drop on them and shoot them real quick and then get out of there before they can respond oh shoot Oh, dang it, I went right into that. Oh shoot, I almost went right into that one too. That was close. Oh, dang it. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, it's done. Oh, me and Crunch, both of six. Right, I'm coming for you, buddy. One. Oh, he's dumb. He shot at nothing. Gotcha. Stole your balloon. And... Oh, I'm just going to stay right behind him. Keep tabs on him. Nope, that's mine. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there he goes. He's done. He's done. Fast. my balloon ceremony this time around. Or it's not a balloon ceremony, I guess. It's a TT amulet ceremony. This is for you. you won first oh. Prize. Yeah, he changed what he says. <clears throat> Half the TT amulet complete. 
I'm curious if you get them out of order, if you actually get like the the piece that that. Would, okay, how do I explain that? That makes sense. Okay, so like the first piece was the top left corner, and the second piece was the top right corner. I wonder if I would have done the third um, level instead of the second level if it would have given me the bottom left corner. So I'm gonna actually go over and do the. Um, Oh, what do they call that world? I need to find out. But I'm going to do the fourth one and see if I get the bottom right corners or the bottom left. I don't think you do. But that'd be kind of interesting if you could get, like, two opposite corners instead of actually having it be the top half. Dragon Forest, that's what it's called. Uh, is this the battle? Yeah. Okay, so on this one, you have to collect bananas and then deposit them in your treasure chest. And the first one, to get eight wins. And the first player has a huge advantage because there's two bananas right here. So when you're playing this by yourself or if you're playing with friends and you're first player, I always felt like it was an unfair advantage. I would exploit it, though. And then there's two more right here. So you can just like knock this out really fast. And you know, the other ones do have some close ones as well, but I don't think any of them have two as close as those first two I picked up. Maybe they do. You know, now that I think about it, they might actually have really close ones as well. It's, I guess it's just that I was always first player, so that's the one that I knew. Oh, you have to get 10, I think, not 8. Did you have any? No, I didn't have anything. I always love doing that. Huge jump there. Oh, sure, come on, grab it. Oh, dang it. Did he? Sure. And that'll do it. Oh, I guess I don't grab that. Man, I have been inconsistent with uh, my driving seal. Okay, now, so it did give me the bottom left, so I guess it always just gives it to you in order, even if you do the tracks out of order. Alright, just one more to go, and then we will be off to challenge Wizpig. And little Pipsy the Mouse will defeat him. I always love when you hit those invisible walls and just bounce like crazy. Okay, so this is another battle, but this one's in Hovercrafts. And this track is a little more interesting than the Ice... Like, the Ice Skull Pyramid one is my favorite, but this one is a little more, uh, more varied. Ah, oh, yeah, that's green. I thought it was a green, but I questioned myself. I thought maybe it was going to be red. Oh, jerk. I really hate doing hovercrafts with these light characters because they're just so sensitive. It's hard to... It's, it's easy to overcorrect when you get off course. And those waves, man, they just like... Toss me around like I'm nothing. Oh man. I forgot to shoot before I turn back to the right. Hit the little bumper. Oh, come on! That's garbage. Where's everybody? Is this symmetrical? This is actually a symmetrical course. I never realized that, I don't think, as a kid. I think I always thought it was different on both sides. 
Actually, I guess I'm, I'm sure I realized it. I just didn't remember it, is what I mean to say. I wasn't that stupid. But I remember it being different on both sides. It's actually symmetrical. I'm going to go out to the far end here and check and see. Okay. And I think that other side's going to be the same. This one doesn't have a palm tree. And it has a balloon over here. I don't know if they're exactly the same. Alright, I've got two left and they both... Well, I've got four left and they've got two. What I meant to say was... Or what I was saying is I got two shots left. Alright, Crunch, you are done for, buddy. Yeah. Pipsy and the Pink Craft. <clears throat> Alright, that's good. And let's go ahead and defeat Wizpig and finish the first leg of our journey through adventure. After that, it will unlock the, I guess, the bonus portion of the, of the adventure. There's all my trophies for my trophy races. And we can challenge this pig by flying into his mouth. Man, I remember playing this so many times. Trying to beat him. He was hard. He's actually, he's really hard. I wonder if I'm going to be able to beat him on my first try after not playing this for so long. I remember him being really hard. And he just runs. <laughs> runs and flies. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't think there's any balloons on this one, so it's pretty much all ah, how good you are by hitting the zippers. And the thing is, if you miss, like I did there, you get stuck in the water a lot. So you kind of have to hit them. All right, one lap to familiarize myself with the track. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is all bad. got humiliated. Let's see if I can at least make it a decent contest before he finishes. I didn't get a pretty good boost off of that. still, and I'd had a pretty good lap there. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we're gonna restart this. Because that's not gonna happen. I'm not even doing decent. Okay, Wizbit, you're going down this time. I am now familiar with the course. Bacon tonight. Oh, garbage. I'm not going to bother with the rest of that. There's a lane boost. Blowing that that landing off that zipper. I think I'm farther behind him than I was before I started this 
or at the beginning of the last lap. So this is not looking good unless he slows down later on, but I don't think so. <sighs> that part's kind of hard because you're going really fast. After hitting those zippers, it's hard to stay in control well enough to keep a streak going. That uh, choppiness of the game is killing me. So it's right when I'm making my little adjustments and then I think they're made and they're not. Okay, well I got a little bit cheated on that one. But we're gonna come back and try it again. Again, I apologize for the choppiness. It's uh, some the way Fraps is interacting with this program. It's uh, not really working very well. And it's making it tough to play, also. So I did not feel like I hit that tree. All right, that's better. That's better. This is looking good. Right behind him. I'm trying to remember how you actually pass him because I hit all the zippers. Right? Did I miss one? I think I hit them all. And he was still pretty far ahead of me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Looking good. Worry about him blocking me. I just stay ahead of him now. No! Alright, so I just gotta hit all the zippers and I should be good. Oof. This big fat fear pushing me out of the way. Ooh, I had a feeling I was gonna miss that one, so I didn't release the accelerator and get the big boost. I think I'm good, I think I'm good, I think I'm good. Go, 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 go. Yes! Yeah, he was hard. <laughs> that wasn't just, uh, just me sucking as a kid. He actually was pretty tough. Ha, 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 cry. Come on. You happy music. Yay! Timber Island is safe again. Oh <laughs> yeah, I forgot about this. We'll go ahead and watch this. This is funny. Yeah, it's a party. Crunch was even invited. Trees, sprite, <laughs> just the flat 2D thing that turns with you. It's funny. What's going on here at the lighthouse? Uh oh. He's huge compared to the rest of them. What's that about? It's like a space pig. Crashing the party. Sorry to break the party, worms, but I had to say goodbye.
he got really tiny. Alright, later, whiz pig. So that does it for the first part, and uh, we're not finished though. There's some hidden tracks we are going to uh, go do. We also didn't pick up drumstick yet, so I think I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and we can use him to race. And I don't think I'm going to do the TT challenges on this recording. But if you guys liked this, uh, let me know. Um, and what I'll do is I'll unlock TT on my own. And then I'll go ahead and do an Adventure 2. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I'll do Adventure 2. That's where all the tracks are mirrored. Um, it's essentially the same thing, but all the tracks are mirrored. So let me know how you feel. Uh, but that's it for today. And hopefully next time we'll be able to finish up the Hidden World. All right, see you guys.